It's Friday, August 30th, 2024. Let's take a look at the headlines making waves in the Nigerian dailies of today. Beginning with the punch. The border headline says, Presidential fleet, 200 families displaced as Nigerian Air Force demolishes houses. You can turn to page 2 of the paper for the full story. And above the nameplate on page 20, Governor's Jobs Bazaar states wages rise by 900 billion naira. Tinambu okays 50% electricity subsidy for hospitals and others. You can turn to page 10 of the paper for the full story. And on page 12, NYSE bars poly graduates without IT experience. And beside the nameplate on page 12, I will build on foundation laid by Obaseki, says Igodalu. And on page 7, PDP, APC, others signed peace accord September 12th. And below the picture, Ajayre honors police summons for terrorism allegation. And below that, no work, no pay threat won't stop strike, says resident doctors can turn to page 12 for the full story and on page 4 and 5 Butok enlargement doctor declared wanted as client dies during surgery and Canada ends visitor to work permit policy you can turn to page 28 of the paper for the full story away from that let's take a look at the Guardian where the border headline says leaving in Abuja the making of a capital city of gross inequality rags riches you can turn to page four and five for the big story and beside the picture federal government gives traders one month to crash prices of goods you can turn to the news page 30 of the paper for the full story and on page seven government increases suburb marching grants to 3.5 billion naira and afi babalola cautions against 18 years limit for wayek Neko, you can turn to page 28 for the full story. And on page 7, EKEDC explains disconnection of Unilag after 180 million naira payment. Foreign inflow down by 57.22% as investors appraise portfolio. You can turn to the business page 16 of the paper for the full story. And on page 6, over 55,910 civilians killed in Nigeria in four years, says report. And a diary vows to fight on, says police invitation, mere distraction to labor struggles. Can turn to page 6 of The Guardian for the first story. And on page 3, Dr. Strike, federal government threatens to invoke no work, no pay rule. Away from that, let's take a look at Vanguard where the border headline says Exploitative Pricing Traders get one month notice to crash prices. You can turn to page 5 of the paper for the full story. And above the nameplate, Bois Boss explains why cement prices are high. You can turn to page 20 for the full story. And on page 14, Coronation Anniversary that I'm king doesn't mean everything I was before I was crowned is thrown away. You can turn to page 14 for the story. And on page 8, alleged terrorism financing what NLC president told police. And on page 13, federal government liaise with European Union to take action against Simon Epa, says DHQ. And below the picture, tension in Kebi as military personnel shoots DPO dead. You can turn to page 6 of the paper for the full story. And on page 8, insecurity, 55,910 dead, 21,000 abducted in 4 years, says report. And on sport, OC men, Chelsea transfer deal nearing conclusion. You can turn to the sports page 30 of the vanguard for the full story let's quickly take a look at the nigerian tribune where the border headline says federal government gives traders one month to crash prices you can turn to page six of the paper for the full story and above the nameplate on page three 
Afi Babalola folds federal government stance on 18-year limit for varsity admission. And the federal government approves 50% electricity subsidy for public hospitals. You can turn to page 12 for the full story. And on page 12, also beside the picture, Reps petition Canadian envoy over genocide in citing statement. And court strikes out suit against N bad governance protesters. You can turn to page 24 of the paper for the full story. And on page 4, Aviation Minister signs MOU with Boeing to boost sector. And below the picture, local government autonomy. MBA names committee to monitor 774 councils. You can turn to page 2 for the full story. And in Edo, political parties, candidates to sign peace accord September 12th. You can turn to page 23 of the paper for the full story. And that's the headlines making waves in the Nigerian dailies. If any of these headlines caught your attention, do well to get a copy of the paper and read the full story on the identified pages.